According to the town hall in Red State, the defector has extremely embarrassing information about the Bidens. Do you have any idea what that could be? I think we already have some indications about what that would be if, if the reports about uh, the Hunter Biden um, laptop are true. Uh, I think we can get a lot of information just from that alone. But whatever the information that the Chinese might actually have, it's extraordinarily concerning because of the leverage that they could use um, to try to uh, get what they want out of the Biden administration to try and put the pressure on them from that. Have you heard anything? Has this um, defector, uh, are they having meetings with U.S. intelligence officials? Do we have access to this individual? Have you heard anything like that? That's a great question, to be honest. And I mean, as I mentioned, I mean, these are all rumors. I, I think that as a counterintelligence officer, that kind of information would be um, it, it, and top secret. It, absolutely. <laughs> and, but it's not just top secret, though. And it, I mean, you worked in intelligence before. You understand how it's not just the classification access that you have. It's also the need to know. And so for the people who would need to know who this individual is, where they are, and what information they might be giving us, that would be an extraordinarily limited amount of people. It's so interesting that though this is leaking out because it's embarrassing for the Biden administration, specifically uh, as they're playing catch up on Wuhan. Um, what have you heard uh, about what's going on inside the intelligence agencies as they scramble to figure out what they can say publicly about Wuhan, because certainly we know what's going on, but what can we say? I think a lot of it comes down to getting some sort of indication of, of marching orders from the White House itself, and I don't think we're currently getting that. I think because the Biden administration is taking so long to come up with a coherent message and coherent strategy on how to deal with China, I think many in the federal government writ large are having a difficult time of trying to understand what exactly needs to be done in order to deal with China. You know, Biden ordered this review of intelligence on Wuhan. A 90, he said, in 90 days, I want the intelligence community to come forward and tell us what they know. But the reality is, is that every single day, intelligence officers are putting into the president's daily briefing and other forms briefing the president. Mm. So what are intelligence officers saying about being instructed to do a 90-day review on something that they're already doing. Right. That, in all honesty, that is a great question. And it comes down to, I think, who, um, who's in charge, whether it be from the local level, from uh, the, the individual intelligence officer and their immediate superiors, all the way up to the head of DIA and the head of the CIA themselves in terms of what the priorities are and what they expect their intelligence officers to um, be doing. So I, I think... In terms of the 90-day uh, review, that is, I think, something that the White House has put out so that they could do it more from a public relations perspective. It seems pretty phony. Yes, sir. Um, over the last 18 months, we've seen so many leaks coming out of the intelligence agency. And I know firsthand that, that intelligence officers have been annoyed by that. We saw right during the election, mm -hmm. 50 former U.S. intelligence officials came forward and said, we think that the Hunter Biden laptop issue is Russian disinformation. Now, I know that's not true. We all know that that's not true. But what were intelligence officers saying about that leak? From where I sat, we were working more with the um, more foreign intelligence. So we weren't too terribly worried about what was going on in the domestic side of things. So when it comes to the Hunter Biden aspect of it specifically that would not have been within our purview and it would not have been in us. What about to... leaks in general? Are they concerned about the work that you're doing all of a sudden appearing in Politico? Oh, well, I mean, absolutely. I mean, it makes our job so much harder when that happens because you spend days, weeks and months working on a project and all of a sudden it now is public knowledge and, and all the work that you just did now becomes not exactly useless, but it certainly decreases in significance. So leaks were always extraordinarily difficult to deal with. You know, there's um, someone like you with your background, in incredibly interesting, incredibly uh, impactful. I I've heard rumors that you're thinking of running for uh, public office. Uh, any truth to those rumors? I, well, in fairness, I have been thinking about it. I think that, uh, that there's no a commitment. No commitment yet. No, I'm, I'm cer certainly just. Why would you run? Because I don't, if you did. I, I don't think that there is, I think there's a need that's not being filled. 
Um, as a former intelligence officer, I've seen the, the value that intelligence plays in creating policy. And I don't see it being utilized in Congress. I don't see it being utilized as effectively as it can be. You don't in think American Adam Schiff is doing a great job? I'll let you off on that. Okay. <laughs>